Hi there, this is Kathy Crow. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am gonna use the Valentine's um, bundle, but this is not gonna be a Valentine thing, so don't get scared. A lot of us are older and we don't send out Valentines anymore. I mean, I send one to my, I make so many cards. I give one to my husband and he's, he's very thoughtful. He really appreciates it and he saves them and everything. So that's very nice. But um, grandkids are a good source for sending out Valentine stuff if you are still doing it. But that is not what I'm doing today. I'm going to use the whole Valentine, the Be My Valentine suite. It's really cool. It's an online only product, I think. But now that I'm saying that, I thought I saw it in the new catalog. We have a new catalog available and it is celebration time. So for every $50 you spend, you get... Um, you know, free things. And I'm seeing these little bees right here on the catalog. So I think, I'm thinking it's available. I don't know. If you need a catalog, uh, catalog, make sure you let me know. And I will be happy to tell you how you can do that. My customers always get their catalogs for free, but you do have to, yeah, it is in here. The Bee Builder Punch and everything. So I, I think it started out as an online, but now it, and it is available. So the celebration stuff, there's a ton of really good things. This year, I think they really out, Stampin' Up! just totally outdid itself. There's just tons and tons of things that you can get for free. Um, both for $100 orders and then even more things for $50 orders. And of course, every time you order $50, like, so you could get two, if you, if you spent $100, you could get two $50 free items or you can get $100 free item. If you spent $600, you would get a whole lot of options with $100 options and $50 options and everything. I am, I've got a bad back today, so I'm gonna have to stand a lot. We'll see how it works out because I can't really hunch over to do things either. My, I don't know how I hurt. I might've been hauling the Christmas tree up and down the stairs. I don't know. I didn't even do that. I think Jeff did all of that. I did tilt it down though. And I think when I did that, I super over, you know, overextended my back. So it's getting better, but I have to be a little careful. All right, I am gonna put the ca the camera down. Hopefully I can find me over here on the side. And again, thank you for liking and sharing my page and, and checking out my YouTube videos and subscribing to that. that. I do have a newsletter. If you see that on my Facebook post, I've decided why am I not showing people this? Because I have had to change my website. Um, my website here is actually slightly different now because I am not paying for my website. <laughs> Imagine that. So um, in order to keep it free, I would have had to have paid and I'm not, I don't make enough money to do that. So I am not doing that. And um, anyway, so then uh, you can still find it probably if you Google Kathy Crow's cards, but um, just know that this website is a little different than what I have actually showing here. I'm just trying to get you so that I can see what you see and all of that. And oops, but wrong direction. I don't want to spill my coffee over here on the side, um, that I haven't finished yet. All right. So Anyhow, this is our paper for this suite. Now, oh, when you order, you're going to want to order the whole suite of of this um, stamp set, this, this bundle. It's a punch, so you don't get dies. Why am I, why am I over here more? I want to be, no, I want to be this way more. Okay, good. Now we're good. Um... So you want to order the whole bundle because you get this paper, um, but you're and you're gonna get this, and then you will get the punch. The punch is super cute. It has two little hearts on it, but um, actually this heart is the wings. And I'm gonna show you how I did the wings, but I'm not actually gonna do the wings the same way I did them on many of the cards that are on Pinterest. Now I don't have very many of these left because I've been using them all. Um, but there are these absolutely gorgeous um, embellishments that come with this suite. 
This is the Adhesive Vact Hearts and Flowers. They came with this suite, and I ordered a bunch more of these because I have, I have, I've used them all up practically. And I don't know if I'll get to them today because I'm going to try to get through all of this pro project a little faster. Here's my my um, QR codes. If you want to zoom in on those, you can get, you can do shopping up, with, you know, stamping up with me. You can buy this sweet through me. If you do, you're going to get more free things. Um, my square store has classes and the newsletter. My newsletter though is free. If you go to that one, you're going to get it for free. On square, I have to spit, I have to charge you $1 and that's just to get um, square to show it and there is a processing fee you know square has to make some money even on a newsletter so um, they have it um, they I have to, I have to have it for a dollar there so anyway all right this is really cute paper you are gonna like this and today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little um, accordion box this is gonna be a little prayer box because I was thinking of that Bible verse, the, um, you know, sweeter than honey, more, you know, the, and it's actually the law of the Lord is perfect. You know, the song, um, the words are more precious. His precepts are more precious than gold, sweeter than honey, uh, honey from the honeycomb. I didn't have that in a stamp. I thought I had it, but I did not have the Bible verse as a stamp. You know, I am going to really quick run over here and find my little bee thing. I had, oh, I remember what I was getting confused by. So I have my old wood blocks that are from some other, stamp. you know, this is Stampin' Up, but these are old B things. Usually, oh, I do have it. Ha, ha, ha. I thought I did. Pleasant words is what it says. That's not actually what, oh, this is the Proverbs one. Oh, this is a good one. I'm going to be happy to use it. This is not, I was thinking of Psalm 19, but this is Proverbs 16 and it's pleasant words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. Perfect. So we will be using that, um, but I am also going to be using this accordion box to send. I thought, what a, bit, what a great way to send um, greetings to someone to remind them how great God is because um, he's going to take care of you. And in our Be My Valentine set, we've got a stamp that says, you'll always be the one for me. That's cute. You're as sweet as honey. Super cute. I love all of these. I love you no matter what. All of these are great. But when I, where's the one I was thinking of? I don't see it. You make my heart buzz. <laughs> I don't think that's what it was. I think I saw one that was, um, it was this one. You will always be, haha, the one for me. I w that's actually supposed to be a romantic thing, but that could be um, a spiritual sentiment too. So anyway, I'm turning it into a spiritual sentiment today. All right, so I am going to have to, I've kind of pre-cut a few things. I've also pulled out some old bee paper. You guys will recognize these old bee papers. They're from um, bee bee things a while ago, but I do want to use these papers too. So I've already pre-cut my accordion box cover and scored it. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Let me grab my ruler and I've redone my whole backing thing again. And, and so when I do those things, um, I can't find things. So hopefully I won't have that trouble today. It seems like I have it every time I get to together with you. And I always have my ruler upside down. I, it's just a Murphy's law. All right. So this is cut. This is an 11 inch piece of paper. I didn't even realize it was, but it is. It's 11 by six and woohoo. I'm going to have to get out my other ruler. My <laughs> My lines are kind of wearing off on this clear one. I like to have the clear one so I can see things really well. All right, so it's actually by seven. I don't know why I couldn't see that, but I couldn't. So it's a seven, It's 11 inches by seven, and then you are going to score it at five and 
Actually, you're scoring it at five and a sixteenth. <laughs> I know, I know you're thinking that. How about we look at this really quick and see if that's really accurate? Because I think one side was slightly bigger than another. So let's score it at five and I believe six. That looks like a one inch mark for me. Okay, five and six. And then that should give you sort of a center. It's going to be a little wonky, but with your accordion in it, it's not going to matter because it's going to be a little bit, you know, oversized anyway, once we get that all in. And I'm using this paper so that I can have this. I'm going to put the bees on, on the front here. It's going to be super cute. All right. And then we're going to do several pockets and I haven't cut them all out. I've only cut, cut a few of them out. This is seven and a quarter. I better write this down because otherwise I'm going to totally forget what I'm doing. And um, if I don't write it down, I know I'm not going to, I'm going to lose track of what I'm supposed to be doing. Let me try to find a yellow. I've got all kinds of sticky notes over here, but they're the ones I don't ever use. It's they're the pink and the blue ones. And um, here's a very bright green one. And I should be able to see that. Okay. All right, so we'll use my better ruler and we'll see what my pocket is. All right, so my pocket is actually six and three eighths, it looks like. We could go six and, or not six, seven, seven and a half, and then just make my, um, my score a half inch. I think that's what I'll do. Okay, so seven and one half. So the pockets, seven and a half by, oh, I don't want that sticking there. And I've already got these done, just to remind me what I'm doing, by four. Okay, so by four inches, and then you're gonna score a half of an inch all around three sides. Okay, just three sides of your pocket. No, I take that back, just two sides, just the two sides, not the three sides. Okay, because we're gonna attach the bottom into that accordion piece. Now the accordion piece is gonna be the same. We're gonna do, for, for me today, we'll do um, six pockets. You can put as many pockets. This one's gonna fit you know, quite a few. And my thought is, is that I'm going to put paper in there and my Bible verse, and this would be a really nice little prayer, uh, meditation, encouraging, um, gift to, for, for Valentine's to somebody who, um, who will like it, you know, I mean, I think it's going to be cute. My grandkids actually will really like it. Um, so seven and a half by four, we're going to do the accordion. We're going to do two accordion pieces, the same size as the pockets. Okay. Seven and a half by four. And then they're going to be scored at a half of an inch all the way inch increments <laughs> my handwriting i am so sorry all the way up okay <laughs> i'm trying to hurry okay so two accordion pieces all right that's it the cover let's do that cover so that i have it again written out seven by eleven okay seven by eleven score at five inch and six inch on the long side. And that is, that's all we're doing. Okay, that's not that hard to remember. Let's see if I can manage it. All right, so the Bible verses today, they are so very encouraging. Okay, let's see, what paper do I wanna use? Cause I wanna use a variety of these papers. They're so pretty. Let me get all my things in order. So I have one pocket already done. Well, after you get it scored, you're just gonna put them together. Fold and fold. And that has that lovely um, 
honeycomb in there. Isn't that cute? Okay, so I'm gonna glue that together. Why are you cool? There you go, okay. I'm gonna glue that together. You do not have to glue the bottom because, um, of course, that's gonna go in this accordion thing. It's all gonna fit in here. And, um, and I want some yellow in the bees, you know, in here too. This is something I'm not even using. I don't know why I bothered to cut that out. All right, so the next pocket, I wanna kind of save, I don't have a ton of this honey page, and I do wanna save some of it. So I'm gonna cut this. I wanna save seven, oh, I can save six and a half inches of it. I don't know if I have enough to save that much, but I might. Let's go. Well, we're going to want, um, what did I just write that? I just wrote it down and lost it again. The pocket seven and a half by four. So it needs to be seven and a half. So it's four inches this way. All right, let's just do this. We're going to go four inches this way and then I'm gonna save all of that because I want to save that for the cover oh seven and a half inches by four okay seven and a half so we've got the four inches and then we're gonna do seven and a half of course I need two pieces of it so there's one so one pocket is going to have to be a different um, Paper because I've already used a bunch of this. So I'm going to use this for one of those. Okay. I put the little bees on the inside, I think, instead of my plaid. I love this plaid. It's so pretty. So we want another four inches and then another seven and a half. Okay. And then that's my other little pocket go like that and of course and you can do it however you want to but okay that's two pockets where did I put my other <laughs> pocket oh it's in here it's in here okay I'll score those later right now it's just a matter of let's get all these pieces together all right now this one I love this red not so fond of the pink peach stuff with this. I'm not thrilled with that color combination, but we do want the bees to be running the right direction for the pocket. Um, what do I, what other papers have I got in here? Let's just check it out. So I've got quite a variety of papers. Oh, I've got a tiny bit of my book one yet. Ah, uh, the colors don't really go, so I think we'll have to put that one aside. I put it in here with it because it matched color wise, but I do have a little bit more of this red. I've been using it, so I don't have a ton of it, but I do have some of it. So let's go ahead and do one with this. And I might be able to get both pockets with this. So there's four, I bet you I can. This looks like about four inches. It's close. It is, it's four inches. So we're gonna go ahead and do seven and a half with this and seven and a half with this, okay, and then that gives me my three pockets. I'm just gonna do the three. Now we need to do the accordion fold piece. Now I was gonna use this. It's nice to use our lighter weight um, cardstock for it. It's, um, these accordion things get pretty bulky. So, you know, you can use, is this four inches? Let's check it out. No, of course it's not. So I cannot use that leftover piece. I'm gonna have to use a whole nother piece of paper. Let's use this one. Okay, this is not one that's my favorite, so we'll use this one. So we're gonna need two accordion pieces. So we're gonna do, and they're not gonna really show, um, but let's just do the bees this way just to be sure that I've got it going right. So four inches. 
And then we're gonna do another four inches because we want two of these. And then seven and a half inches for both of these. And then we're gonna score this, seven and a half. Now one thing when you're scoring these, um, des these designer series papers that are very lightweight, you have to be super careful not to tear it because it can tear. It's, um, it's lightweight, it's not heavy. So I'm going to have my accordion fold with the bees showing and not the hearts, okay? Because I'm just not fond of that color combo. We're going to score every half of an inch. So I'm going to start here at half of an inch and score and go to one inch and score. And then another half. We're doing this all the way along. I know it seems really tedious. Oh my goodness, is it paling outside? I hear the rain. Do you hear it? I can hear it going pretty good. It's been raining a lot all day. I'm so glad because that's going to be really good for my garden out there. Today I was looking at our little plants thinking, hmm, this winter might be a good test to see how, how good you can really live out here, <laughs> new little plants. Okay, I'm not going to put out the arm. I'm just going to flip over here and use my um, measurements. I can see where my other score line is and I'm gonna put that like right here on that half of an inch and then I'm gonna just keep going the, this direction just so I don't have to put out that arm and now they're all done and then you just do an accordion fold. Okay, so all of those have to be folded. And I'm not going to burnish them because again, this is a very lightweight cardstock. I don't want it to be burnished too much. I don't think I need the second one. What is the second one for? Why do I have in my instructions that there are two of these? That doesn't seem right. Because this is actually giving me tons more accordion fold pockets than I'm ever gonna use because I'm not gonna put that many pockets in here. You could put a bunch, apparently. Let's count them once I get this done. Okay, because that's gonna fold. And it wasn't even an even amount, which is odd, actually. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pockets. So you could do seven pockets in here. I don't need that many. Was it because we were doubling it up? No. Very strange. We're going to put this in the middle, and the pockets are going to fit right in here. You know, that seems like excessive. <laughs> this is what happens when I don't do the actual project ahead of time. I've done it before, but apparently a while ago. I'm just checking to make sure it's not too wide. It's not, so it's fine. So I'm going to just leave it, and I'm not going to score this piece. I don't think we really need to do that. And we're gonna glue this on here. Should I put tape? I'm afraid to put tape because um, tape is problematic for me. For one thing, um, the light cardstock, a lot of the time it tears even as I'm doing it, which is really annoying. So you're gonna just find your fold and then we're gonna just put this right there on the top, this bottom the bottom of that is going to be right there and then we're going to just close her up let's make sure it's staying good okay and then this one's gonna bloop on over and the fold instead of the bottom because it was came out on odd you know odds and evens came out odd it's gonna go like this you just want that fold to be right here now you could, if you want to sacrifice a pocket so that you can have it exactly the same as it is on the other side, we can trim off this extra. And it actually should have been then seven inches instead of seven and a half for that. Let me change my measurement so that I remember that. So the accordion pieces should have actually been just seven inches, not seven and a half. And then we're going to put our glue on here and the glue is gonna go 
this way. But it will give you six pockets instead of seven. Okay, I believe. Wait, 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 wait. No, nope, not that way. This way, like that. Okay. Make sure I'm getting it glued correctly. The squirrels were so cute to watch today. My goodness, they were. So we have apparently five squirrels in this little nest in our oak tree. Because, and I don't usually see all of them out at the same time. So that's why I don't even know how many we have. I'm going to bend it so that I can see exactly where this needs to go. And then hold that down and rub that to make sure that's staying down really good. Okay, I know it's coming up like this. Don't worry, it's fine. Our pockets are going to weight it down and it'll stay just the way it's supposed to. Like so. There. Okay, so that's going to be just like that when the pockets get in there. <laughs> Now we're going to assemble our pockets and stick those in here. Aren't, isn't this cute? Well, this is going to be so cute. Um, let's remove this to the side. All right, I'll do my odd man out pocket first. Get those glued. They were chasing each other very vigorously. So I figured the temperature must be warmer. And then those little rascals, I saw, I've got squirrel baffles on all of our feeders and there's not a ton of seed in some of them now because they, the, the birds have been consuming it. But I wonder now how many squirrels have been sneaking in there because what had managed to, I don't know if the baffle had kind of fallen down a little bit or what, because... <laughs> There he was. I thought I saw some odd extra movement happening. And sure enough, that squirrel was on that feeder. They are so cute. So cute. All right. And so then I thought, well, you're not going to stay there, squirrel. Because if the other squirrels see how you've gotten up there, then um, they're going to come up too. And and then I won't have any seed anymore. I let them do it for a long time when we first moved here, but then they just ate all the seed up, and I, I just told them, no more. You guys aren't, you're big pigs. You can't handle it. Now we're scoring just these sides, remember, at half of an inch. And, ooh, and I pushed pretty hard, so it almost tore there. So, again, be careful not to, to push too hard when you score these lines. <laughs> Because you don't want it to. I do. If I'm going to put heavy things in here, like a lot of things and all, I would make these pockets and the whole folder, in fact, out of our regular heavy cardstock. Um, the heavy cardstock, once you've secured it, put in a good binder and all, you could put tons of stuff in there. But this is just going to be little prayer cards. So it'll be fine. Okay. I I thought I did more, but I guess not. One, two. Okay, yeah, I'm just doing three pockets. You could but it's not gonna fill it, obviously. Doing just that number. Do I wanna mix and match? No, I don't. Okay, so we're gonna go like this and like this. And that's gonna go on the inside. So I'm going to have that yellow on the outside. And then we'll glue that. He was, he managed to somehow get him, his paw on the out, up. It's one of those baffles that's on the pole and it's a big cone thing and it spins around on the pole and, and tips when their weight is on it. I mean, it's, it's a good squirrel baffle. And, um, he somehow balanced himself and managed to get a paw, enough of a paw up there to, to somehow reach the feeder to steady himself so he could scramble up before the baffle collapsed on him. I don't even know how he managed to do it the first time, but I suspected when I got down there, I went down there to see what the deal was that um, the baffle and the wind, we've got a very windy day today with the wind and the rocking of the the feeders that um, the baffle had lowered itself somehow. Okay, 
All right, so we're gonna get that all glued there. Okay, very cute. I love these little honey jars. When I saw these honey jars, that's what reminded me of this Bible verse. And this year, um, our minister on Sunday said that he is going to have us, we're going to do some memorization. Believe me, that's not something that any of us probably are all that excited about. I've been doing that enough to realize that, look, I can survive it. I will do it. I can memorize the, the reality is what I memorize has limited staying power. <clears throat> Bible verses that I learned when I was a child, I can remember perfectly well. The Bible verses that I've memorized is in a really since post 30. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, not so great. Not so great recall. Partly it's because I memorize it, I think, in more than one version. Now, when I was a kid, our church... Um, originally it changed as the years went by like churches do but uh, um, initially we had King James version and then then they accepted um, the new English no the revised I don't remember the order they went to revised standard then new Eng new international version and <laughs> and even and by the time I was in fourth grade I think um, even the living Bible was okay as long as you had a good, um, oh, a good, you know, a good, a good real translation. Because the King, the, the living Bible is actually just a, it's not a translation, it's a paraphrase. So as long as you understand the differences and all, you're good. All right, now I'm going to just take this and stick it here. I've got my punch. So I can see where that center is. And then I'm going to kind of hold this and slide that out. It's not, might not be exact, but it's going to be close. That's pretty close. Okay, we'll use this again. That, they just need to be in the same spot. They don't really have to be perfect. It just needs to be in the same spot. Okay, so I'll slide Again, kind of slide that out. And now we've got our our little cutouts so that you can easily grab what's in there out. And now we can put this right in here. I better start in the middle. We're gonna just glue the sides of the of the accordion right to, I might even leave some gappage just so that I have room to. I'm gonna put big papers in now because your bottom is open, if you put little pieces in, then you're gonna wanna seal that bottom. Uh, it's not a big deal, but actually I think, cause I'm gonna forget, I better seal it. Otherwise, I'm just gonna forget that I can't. And then I'm gonna put something small in there and regret it, because it'll come out. Just a tiny bit of glue, and then that'll seal up that bottom completely, even to the corners, because my accordion fold is not going to the whole corner. Has anyone done this B? It's a very easy little B to stamp and punch. And even the wings are much easier to do than I expected when I first bought it. I didn't think that I was going to um, like doing the wings as much as they, they, they work out pretty well. You're, you're going you're gonna to enjoy this one. This is a very easy one to do. If you are doing these little bees with kids, they will have no trouble at all. There's no... The way I'm doing it, there's not even any coloring. You don't have to do any coloring. And it's super cute and fun. I'm not going to do them this way for this project, but I took some clear plastic that it cut, or some of, you know, the heavier duty clear plastic, the window sheet stuff. That's what it's called, window sheets. And then I embossed black on it. And you can heat set that. It heat sets fine on the window sheet. Doesn't mess it up. I've got it stuck to some tape here. 
and then I cut out around it so that I can have my little bee wings with a paper showing through still. That's my extra piece that I haven't used yet that I have stuck on the side. All right, so now our pockets are done. I think I want this one in the center because it's the one that doesn't really match my paper so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put some glue right here, both sides. Not a ton, but enough to hold that. And then we'll insert it and kind of fold it down. So hopefully it's in there good. Oops, let's move it a little. I need it centered a bit better. There we go. Okay, <laughs> come on. There's that side, but I want this side on too. All right. Perfect. Let's just make sure I'm gluing it really good though. There. And there. When they're all kind of bunched up like this, it's a little bit more complicated. Then it will be as we go. Initially, it's a little hard. Okay, got it. Good, 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 good. All right, now we've got room for another pocket, of course, right here. And then I'm going to end up with more rooms for pockets. So I'm not filling it all up because you're going to have room for an extra couple of pockets. I'll go like that. Of course, if you don't fill it, it does give you more room to stuff stuff in there also. Which one do I want? Do I want the red in front or the... I want the honey in front. I'm going to put the honey in front because that's where my little Bible verse is going to go. So let's do... The next one's going to be right here. This is so cute. So what is your favorite Bible verse to send to people? I think that Psalm 19 is pretty good. You're probably not going to get much better than that. There's a lot of good things in it. In fact, when I was writing down all the verses I wanted, it was hard to start stop because it starts out, the, the law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. And that's what always reminds us of the song. You know, that goes with that. Okay, so that's that. And then that's got to fold there. Just making sure all the little folds are grabbing and folding the way it's supposed to. Okay, I, I want to make sure. Did I get that other side? It looks like it's not. Yeah, no, it is. It's correct. Okay, just making sure that it's pressed up in there good and glued really well. All right, so now this one's gonna go, I'm actually gonna skip a space so that you can see where my other pocket should be, okay? Because I've got room for another pocket there. You do have room for, if you wanted to, another really fat pocket right in there. Um, so technically it looks like you can get one, two, three, four, five, six. That's what I thought because I cut off that other half of an inch. But I'm just doing this many pockets just so you get the idea. And I'll finish it out later on my own on the inside. Okay, right there. I'm just pushing it down so that it can seal up really good right up against that fold on the bottom where it's holding it. Okay, and then that one held really well too, so it's going good. All right, now it's working out much better. Once you start getting the pockets in it, it goes really well. And then there's your little, why are you doing that? Oh, because I don't have another pocket in there, that's why. All, it, once all the pockets are in it, it will weight that down. Right now, it's not weighting it down because I don't have a pocket in there. Should I just do one really quick? 
you know, because I might as well. Like, if you don't mind me taking a little time here to just do one more pocket, I can. Let's do one more. We'll do one more red one. That's pretty. Maybe I should do another. Let's do another old bee paper one. Okay, we'll do these weird the stripe one. This is pretty. We'll put the stripe on the inside. So we instead, the pockets, no, the pockets are four inches. So we need two, one, and another one at four inches, and then seven inches, not, no, seven and a half inches, seven and a half. So I'll need the arm out for that, seven and a half, and another seven and a half, and then we'll score the two sides at half of an inch, one there, and one there. And I'm just using the half an inch on this side to do that. Because it's a lot easier to keep your paper nice and straight against the top if you use this side of the bar. That's partly why Stampin' Up! gives you. I think other colors, I think they all do that. I don't really remember if they do or not. And then we'll glue that. And we'll have one more pocket in there, and that'll just hold it all nicely. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I like the stripes going that way, but I kind of had to do that. I did not have to. I guess the bees go different ways. Well, we're stuck with it the way it is now. When you have really strong directional paper, you do want to kind of make sure you're your direction's going the way you want to, and I, I didn't even think about the stripes because they're gonna be on the inside of the of the pocket anyway. At least they're both going, <laughs> at least they're both going up and down. It would be worse if one was going across and one was going up and down. Um, is it still as windy as it was? Man, it was windy, and Jeff said it was going to start getting really cold. It was so nice over Christmas having it mild. When we went and looked at all of the lights, it was so, oh, it was so nice when I was undecorating. Because I put it off for a couple of days, because we did have a couple of days that were pretty cold. So I did took down all of the stuff on the inside. Well, in stages, you know, it's a big job putting it up, but... It's less work taking it down, but it's it's still. I ended up I ended up getting rid of one giant big tub. I was so proud of myself. I thought this year that I was thinking I do not want more decorations, but I still did buy I think two boxes of of ornaments because they were so pretty and every time I do that I always think you don't you do not need any more ornaments so stop buying them and um, I always end up buying at least one box it seems like okay so let's get the punch in the right spot let me put that there so it's gonna go like right there okay and then we'll put our pocket in here somewhere there and we do have room we really do we've got room for two more pockets but I'm not going to make you live watching me do two more pockets we'll just do this one right there and then that'll just help keep this closing nicely Okay, oops, it, it popped up because I got to wait for it, to wait for it to really seal. Okay, there we go. We're good. Oops, my board. This is our nice new glass board on top of my old glass board. <laughs> and um, I love the glass, the glass mats. They're really nice. You get a really good cloth along with it. Now, this is part of your starter kit. And um, I have my glass, my wiper wet. So I'm not going to actually wipe it. But you get a nice cloth to wipe it with, which is nice. I, I always keep mine moist in here with my stamp cleaner. 
And, um, and then you also get a really nice um, paint silicone matte thing anyway. All right, so now we've got this all done. That's with this, the, um, the new starter kit. So get the starter kit. Join my team. I'd love to have you. You get to do free things. I send projects out for every month that our team gets to do. I also give you the opportunity to have exclusive uh, tu tutorials for projects like this that you're not going to see on my website or um, get in an email. They're, they're ones that are just for my team. All right, so um, our Bible verses. Now, I can use regular paper like this for these little verses. And you're going to want, if you're going to do Bible verses like I am, you're going to want to use really good handwriting. Okay, so I'm going to just take this scrap paper that I've got and trim off the excess pieces that are the trash part anyway. And then I'm going to cut it at six inches. And that'll give me two of them, right? And then I'll want to use my um, uh, a Sharpie to write the Bible verses. And I think I'm going to start with Psalm 19.9. Okay. Psalm 19.9. And the gold isn't so great because it does kind of rub off on the gold foil. The law of, I'm not writing my best, but <laughs> the Lord, we'll do him in really big letters like they do in the Bible, R, we'll go, this is how this verse goes, firm and all of them are righteous. Okay, now um, the point of these is a th it's a thinker. So when you, your kids get this, you've given this to them. You have the verses that you think are you know, ones you want to share. It doesn't have to all come from one book of the Bible. You could do anything. And you could even just do, if you don't want to do Bible and you're not a Bible person, um, you can do, uh, you know, you remember the seven, the seven um, successful people habits, seven habits of success or something like that. Seven habits of successful people. You could put those down. Um, there's many positive things that you could do that are going to be good thought provokers. It's just a little meditation um, card they can get out, think about how it applies to them, things that will make their day good, things going good with others. All of that. The, the reason we do card baking is because it spreads joy to others. And, uh, and so this is just another way of doing that. Now, for the cover. I want to have a couple of fun, fun things. But I definitely want my honey on here. Because the honey is the important part. Because I can use my Bible verse that I did find finally. Pleasant words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. We have a honeycomb, I think, in here, don't we? No, we don't, but I, my old stamp set does. And this one doesn't have dyes, does it? No. All right, now I have one B, one lone B already stamped. He is Daffodil Delight with Tuxedo, but I want to show you how I did him because if you want your B to be very, very dark, um, you can use your, these are photopolymers, so you can just use your regular block and keep stamping in exactly the right spot, but I don't trust myself well enough to do that. So I'm actually going to use, I am going to use my, um, my Stamparatus. This is at, not a product that's available anymore, sadly, but there are other ones that are similar to this on the market. So I'm going to use, I need to find another little scrap 
of Daffodil Delight. Let me go check out my stash over here on the side. I'm sure I have some. I've got crushed curry. I don't need that. Daffodil Delight, there you are. That looks like crushed curry. I think you were a piece of crushed curry that got stuck in there. Because that's not, that is not Daffodil Delight. There we go, there's Daffodil Delight. So now we're gonna do that. That still doesn't match. I must have used, I must have used a different one. Is it Lemon Lolly? It's not, it's not Lemon Lolly. It, I bet it's Pineapple Punch. You know, Lemon Lolly is really good. Let's get Lemon Lolly and see what it looks like. <laughs> I am still using Pineapple Punch. Okay, Lemon Lolly, you're good. We're gonna do Lemon Lolly just because Pineapple Punch Hmm, let's look here. Yeah, it'll work. I actually like pineapple punch. I think I'm going to see if I have a scrap of pineapple punch. I'm going through it. I did have a bunch of it, and I should. When it expired a couple of years ago, when they took that color out, I should have bought a whole bunch, because I, I don't have very much anymore. I've got one tiny piece here. We'll use this. My, my, my. Okay. Stick you in the corner. Barely going to have room to put my magnets on you. And that's pretty, pretty firm. I don't, I guess I don't need this pad. I thought I did, but I guess I don't. I think I do. The photopolymer ones are thinner than your, they're much thinner than, than your, um, your clean ones. So, all right, we'll stick you there. And let's see. Oops. Uh, I kind of need that to stay in. Thank you. Yeah, that's not going to, it did stamp, but it's not going to give me a good stamp. So let's, let's put that pad back in. Do I have another pad? I might have a thinner one. I do. That's the same, this one's thicker. This one's thinner. I think this is the one I want. Okay, let's stick that in there. That's gonna go like that, put that there. And there, that's better. All right, so now what you wanna do is you're gonna need to stamp this a few times because I want it to be nice black stripes. I do not want That actually is pretty good. I want to do it again. And that's perfect. You just want nice, you want a nice black stripes. And so you do have to re-stamp to get it to that degree. Like I said, since um, it is a, a photopolymer stamp, you don't have to use this. Stamparatus, or in other words, we've got other products out there like uh, Misty or something. Now, he has a little belly. I could have stamped him with any color I wanted and get just exactly the color I want. But it's so much easier to just do it on the cardstock you want. Now, I'm not going to stamp his wings um, because I'm going to do them afterwards because the punch does not... I mean, it does punch out those wings, but I don't want it on this yellow anyway. But let's do his little face. You get several options for his cute little face. You get a little smile, a little wink, a little happy smile. You have these too. You wanna do the antenna. Um, but uh, let's see, what kind of face do we want? What do you think? I don't want a wink. This is gonna be um, a happy, We'll do this one first. Uh-oh, I moved my blocks. <laughs> where? Where did you put them? Oh, good, there they are. Whew, scared me. I moved my blocks and I couldn't find them. All right, so we're going to do this little guy first with his little closed eyes. Oh, it's easier if you punch it before you... Before you um, Oops, let's trim it so I can easily punch it. Yeah, 
if, to get his face right where you want it. It's a lot easier if you if you have it punched out. Okay. So now we'll put his little face on there. Oh, so cute. There. Isn't it cute? Every time I do one, it's like, oh, you are so cute. Oh, very exciting. And then we'll do this one. Now this one, his stripes aren't quite as nice. I should have probably done a whole new one, but that's okay. I might have to get a handle on him too. I don't have hardly any room. Let's just, let's just stamp another one. I bet you I can do it right here. Barely, but I can. And I, this, I'm going to use my block and show you how much more complicated it is to do this without that stamparatus. You can do it. It's just, it's not as easy, not as easy as you think. Okay, so we're going to do one. Let's see, I better do it there so we have enough room for his little face. Yeah, see, I even got black there too. And then you have to get exactly exactly back it's really hard to do in fact i can see already that i've screwed it up <laughs> no that did not work so i am gonna have to just use the one i've got that's all there is to it because i'm not gonna get out the stamparatus again and do all of that i just wanted to show you why i actually probably want to keep that stamparatus around um, where did you go? Where did you go, piece that I need to cut? That's the one I flubbed. That's the one I just did. There it is. So take your, your piece of washi tape. Okay, everybody's probably got a piece of washi tape somewhere. And we'll do it here attach a little handle like that and then I have a way to lever him into place with my washi tape hmm having a hard time steadying and there we go all right now we can put his little face on and he's going like this. I do see I I didn't do the circle perfect, so I'm gonna skinny him up a little bit. There, he's just gonna be a little skinnier, and we'll put the happy face on. He's skinny, so he can eat more. That would be nice, wouldn't it? I am on a diet, of course, like every other woman I know after the holidays. It'd be nice to not have to, but most of us do. All right, there you go. Oh, you got to get the antenna, but that's going to have to go on the card. So let's do a label that we're going to put our, our um, sentiment on. Oh, let me remove my magnets. And, hmm my ink away it's a pretty big stamp I don't want the little bees particularly and I definitely don't want the flowers so we will get those out we have some new dies that are really nice called thoughtful expressions it goes it goes actually with this one this is a beautiful hybrid embossing folder and I forget what set it came with but um it's part of a of a bundle with stamps and everything um probably thoughtful expressions is what it came with that would be the name of it I just don't see it on hand I bet they're words anyway um you've got thank you oh happy day hello I have done this so you're gonna see this a ton but that's what these dies come with. I just keep them all separate so that I remember to use everything. And uh, it has this nice big circle-y kind of deal going. It's nice and large. So let's grab this out and see how big we want this. I think we're going to want the largest one. Oh, definitely. There's plenty of room for it. 
And, uh, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to use that one. Thoughtful Expressions. Now, remember, every time you order stuff through me, you are going to get free things. But right now, your best bet is to be ordering through me. But be just make sure, get your order. Do a 100 or $150 order. If you do a $150 order, you are going to get, from Stampin' Up!, all of the rewards, which is going to be a $15 worth of free things from the rewards plan. You will get three free items from Celebration. Three. Three $50 ones. Or you could get uh, you could get um, two $50 ones or three $50 ones. Or you can get $100 one and $150 one. That's your best bet. Um, if you are a saver at all, you are going to want to do that. Now, I think what I'm going to do before I cut this out, I'm going to go ahead stamp it first. Oops. I've got everything over on the side here. To, uh, there we go. Move some things around. All right. Let's stamp before I do that. And do I want black? I think I, I'd like something else, but I'm going to use black just because um, I want the Bible verse to stand out really well. So I'm going to just ink it up. And then I'm going to look and see where I want it off. Because I definitely don't want all of it. I do want the the Proverbs, though. So I might end up just doing it all just to make it life easier for myself. So I, it's going to be pretty tough to take off the ink off of the flowers and not mess everything up. So we're going to just go ahead and do it like that. And then we're going to do this. And then we'll have our little bees on there. That's going to be cute. I When I go to store, craft stores, I always look at the stamps to see what they have because that's where I, where I find these Bible verse stamps. Stampin' Up! has some, but like every company, they only do a few every year or every other year. And, um, and so, uh, you know, we Bible people, we actually want to have quite a few. So that's why I collect them, and I bet you do too. So just keep looking. You will see them when you go to um, thrift stores or antique shops. Always look and see if they have a, se a section where somebody's got their old stamps because you would be surprised. Surprised what you might find. Okay, we're going to do... Do it like that. I'm not going to bother cutting, coloring it at all. I'm going to just leave it black and white because I'm just doing this for the sentiment. I'm not trying to do any coloring with that. But I bet you we can get our little wings and our antenna on this. Maybe. You'll see. All right, we'll put this one away. I hope everybody had a great New Year's and a Christmas. We had a really nice Christmas. That was fun. Nice New Year's was nice and pretty quiet, although there was, of course, the usual fireworks. Okay, good. This is going to work out great. I'm going to be able to get these little bees' wings right on this card and their the little antenna. So what I'm going to do... Just to make this easy for myself, I'm going to take some tape. And I'm going to just tape down my sentiment here. Actually, let me use my washi tape. Sometimes my scotch tape will tear my paper, so I better not do that. Let's use, I've got my washi tape out here, right? I thought I did. Did I put it in? Oh, right here. You ding dong. Excuse me, got some allergy issues going today. Okay, so we'll put a bit of tape there, and then I'm going to tape down these little guys. Let's see how big those wings are. Like there, and there. We're going to have to 
move them together to get their wings really on. Because I want the wings to be right on there. So we're going to move these guys right close together. Like that. All right. And now I'm going to take the, let's do the wings first. Where did I put the ink? I guess I put it away already. I'm just using black ink. Remember, I said today, no coloring. Isn't that nice? Okay, so take your little wings. We'll stamp those up. The punch does punch that out. and at least So I could do it on white and insert it and tape it on. That's how I've done it before. But I'm going to make it easy on myself. And we're going to stick it right here on his little back. Right there okay and then we're going to do that with this side right there oops i lost them i need you to stay on here so i can see where to put the antenna let's grab another piece of washi tape This is the easy way to do this, is just to put your bees where you want him. You can attach him so that he can be lifted off pretty easy. And then you can just lift, just lift him away temporarily and put him back. Got like a little piece of something stuck in there. Okay, so that's that. This has a little honeycomb. Right there, it also has flowers. There's some flower stems. The little bee thing, the, the path, the bee path is super cute. Um, make sure you use that when you get this stamp set. You're gonna really like this one. It's very fun for cheery things. Again, this time of the year, at the very beginning of the year, after the holidays, this is a really good time to send cheerful thoughts to people. The holidays are kind of a letdown for some people, you know. Um, things that they wanted to accomplish during the last year and didn't. Plans, you know, that have come up. Things they didn't expect and kind of hard to deal with. So, all right, little antenna. We're going to have to stick that, like, right where my Proverbs are. Sorry, Proverbs. That's kind of the way it went. You kind of, you're going to get the idea. <laughs> kind of going to have to be that way. All right, now we can attach this all. And you can see how cute this is going to look. Put my little antenna away. I do like photopolymer stamps because I also tend to lose them less. Even though when they do get lost, they're hard to see because they're clear. But they stick to this or to the case. If you're just sticking it to the case, they stick really well and uh, actually makes it a little easier to to not lose. Sometimes those little teeny tiny pieces of, of stamp, um, when they are the little cling ones, I, they, they fall down, they stick to my feet and, and whatnot, and then, and then they get lost. All right, so that's that. And then there's our little booklet. I'm gonna turn it no, it's got to be this is the cover. Okay, we're going to stick this here. We're going to stick you here. We're going to stick you here. Um, a nice ribbon around this just to keep it closed is a really good idea, don't you think? I bet you I do have some black ribbon. I don't know if this is long enough, though. Let's see if it is. Mm, it's barely long enough. Barely, barely. We'll tie the bow kind of on the side. My friend said that she does her bows upside down. That's smart because um, my mother was also left-handed. So I'm thinking I must have learned to tie bows from the left-hand person's perspective. That's probably why they are so complicated for me. That is not long enough. <laughs> Like, not even close. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm gonna have to cut another piece. There's just no, no two ways about it. I think I've got a bunch of this black satiny. I don't use black very often, re really. Let's get a nice big piece. And that will make it a lot easier for me to tie a bow. There we go, that's better. Now we can just do it haphazardly because it's not gonna really stay in place anyway. It's just a temporary. Okay. Wow, I don't want it to be that short on that one side though. So I'm not sure how that happened. Let's, let's do it like this. Come on, you can do this. Well, apparently you can't. <laughs> yes, you can. You can, you can. You can go either way, over or under. It doesn't really matter. You can do it either way. All right, there we go. All right, now I actually want that over here on this side. I just needed it to be set um, because I want this to be on top of part of it. Now that's not gonna work that way. I might have to do it this, this direction because there's more room there. I don't know if I have enough ribbon now to do it that way. Let's see, let's give it a go. I have that other ribbon. So if this isn't long enough, then what I will do is just tie a knot and then tie a separate ribbon. It might work. Mm. Not really gonna, kinda, kinda, sorta. Okay. There we go, like that. And then that is gonna go there. I'm gonna take off a little bit of this end. Like that. I don't really want that there. We're going to have to do that for now. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Take this off. And we'll do it this way. Is it this way for you? Sometimes my bows are the thing that takes more time than anything else. Like, seriously. Because I need the, I want the bow there, but I'm thinking I'm going to have to do this. Because <laughs> my bow, you're not cooperating with me no matter where I put you. Okay, I think that's going to work best there. Okay, the bow's going to kind of be in the way, but we're going to just have to stick it there anyway. And we'll put our dimensionals on the back. You are too cute. I hope that you're enjoying this little project and that you get some ideas for your own things. I like to do cards because it's an easy way to send happy greetings to people, uh, remind them why they're so important, remind them that they're important to Jeff and I, they're important, they're more important to God and that he's always there ready to help and take care of you. Take care of your problems, help you through your problems. He doesn't always take the problems away, but he does make the burden a lot lighter. So anyway, um, Jeff and I, as our kids, you know, trying to raise their family, it's not bad to just think of little ways that you can maybe um, make that a little simpler for them to communicate all the little principles that make life good to the grandkids. It's, um, it's a hard job raising little kids. I'm going to just stick that guy there like that. 
and not to this part. It's going to give him a little bit more, more oomph, I think, if I do that. It's kind of stand up a little bit better. All right, very cute, very cute. I love this project. This was a super fun one, and it's super easy because of these great stamps and because of the paper. Now, I was going to add some of this honeycomb. That was the whole point of it, but um, I'm going to just add a strip of it on the bottom here. Okay, so let's grab a little die that's going to give me just enough to slide this little honey honey thing under there. And I do have a honeycomb, um, a honeycomb die from uh, some other stamp set. I might have to find it. Let's see which which of these. Since I'm using this thoughtful expressions, I bet you I do have that stamp. Let's see if do that one. This one's a little on the large side. I don't know that I want that. That one's pretty big. Let's use this smaller one. All right. Let's grab. Roll this through. I want my favorite ones for my honey. I want the one there. I want that one. I think we'll go like that. <laughs> Some of the honey pots I think are cuter than others. I used to have a cute little honey pot, and I think I gave it to my daughter when we moved here. I think I did. Mary, I hope you still have it. I really liked that one. It was one of my favorites. There are, I have seen other ones I've liked just as well, though. Honey pots are actually pretty common. It's not hard to find them, but I, at the time that I found that one, I thought that they were harder to come by because I hadn't seen them, but that's just because I had little kids, and so I was not out and about too much. Okay, so we're gonna just slide this under there. I kinda want a bigger one. It's not really quite big enough. In fact, you know, now that I'm looking at it, I actually just want the honey itself. I don't think I really even want the whole paper. I'm gonna have a little peek here, what a little fussy cutting can do. I think I might just want to do this. We've got, with my scrap, I think I can just do it here with my little scrap. And then I'll save my little label for the inside and use it in there. What do you think? Okay, that. Honey, I think I like that. I think that's cute. So let's just put a little bit of glue on it. Like that. And I think we'll put a dimensional on that one. Well, where did you go, dimensional? There you are. All right. Little honey pot. I like that better. That's cuter. And then we've got, again, we've got those absolutely adorable embellishments so what do we want we want I like these <laughs> that's why they're almost all gone they're so cute we'll just stick it up at the top like that I'll just use one and let's see anything else I don't think we really need anything else. Now, so this can come right off like that. Opens up. You've got your little prayer cards in there. I can use my cardstock if I want to, to put labels in there and I can use my honey there too. There's your honey there. Isn't that sweet? I hope you liked our project today. 
And um, if you want to subscribe to the newsletter, you get tutorials every week. I try to put out at least one. Usually you get four. <laughs> Just depends on how creative I feel that week that I'm doing it or how much time I have. Sometimes I just don't have the time to write out four tutorials. And if there's a really special one you see on Pinterest, you can follow me on Pinterest for all of my cards. I put all of them there. I've had to change my website because they were going to charge me for all of my card storage and I decided I didn't need to do that anymore. So my website is going to be very current because it's going to have to be limited to what um, pictures I can post and that's going to be a smaller number so it will be current um, but if you want to see all of the archives all of my old projects and fancy folds and 3d projects and all of that look at you you are not cooperating so we'll leave you and I will work on you later um, then uh, you can go to Pinterest and follow me and you will see all of my stuff. I think I have it all divided pretty. I mean, I've spent a lot of time. Every time a new catalog comes out, I take a great deal of time to save all of my Pinterest projects and all of Stampin' Up's Pinterest projects, too. Um, I save those so that it's easy to go in and find the stamp's name. And, oh, hi, Sheila, it's good to see you. I don't see any of these things on my other, my computer where I'm trying to watch things. So if anyone said hi, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to ignore you. I just don't get to see these things till later. But on Pinterest, you can go to all of my old stuff. So I have the catalog by year, and I usually have like two, three, you know, two, some, usually two catalogs and maybe a couple of minis in there. Uh, there's just by year, but the titles are the stamp numbers, I mean stamp names. So it's easy to find the stamp the project. If you see a card and you want to know, you know, more about it, you can click there. Stampin' Up! does not save the card um, menus, uh, the the recipes, really, because the products go out of, of orderability. And so if there's something there that you really, really want to know how I made it, you can always message me. And if I can find that tutorial... <laughs> I will send it to you. That is getting to be more and more of a challenge since I have been doing this enough years. It's hard to find the old things. The email ha that I send out weekly, those emails are, I think all those archived ones are available. I'm just not exactly sure how to get to them, but I think they are. Um, so that's a search I guess I can try to find. And then if I do find that link... I will put that on my website and um and and I might try to pin it here to pin to to Facebook too cuz not everyone is on Facebook so try to make it as you know many links as I can so that you can find all of the projects that you want to uh it I do it for me so that when I need to see how I did something I can go back to an old card I know I did that idea or did that um, fancy fold with and then I can see how I did it because I forget too. It's easier for me to find it on my site than it is on other people's sites just because I'm familiar with it. That's not the case for everyone. You, you might be able to find it easier on the one you're more familiar with. All right, that is enough chit chat about Stampin' Up. You have a wonderful day. I hope you're dry and warm. I'm looking outside thinking I'm glad I'm inside. It's a very wet, windy, and, and kind of cold out there today. But the birds are probably still flying around. They have a great day no matter what. And uh, we will too. We will have a great day too. Take care. God bless you. I will see you next week. Oh, so many projects to do. I am just... So happy to show some nice new things to you, and um, and we will have a good time doing that. Bye. See you later.